So we've come to the whiteboard to talk about phone array and real money trading. So I'm gonna draw some pictures in my dimly lit cave and try and explain what I think is going on. So, first up, you enter the raid. And this is universal, everyone has to enter the raid, whether it's like pre-12.6 or now. So, the difference is what then happens after that, obviously. Sound effects, mandatory. Um, so once you've entered the raid, previously, before found in raid, what people would do is rush the mart room, and it could be any one of a number of mark rooms. Um, like the drop down room on reserve was really popular because you didn't need a key and it had loads of graphics cards. And once you've done that, what you'd really be looking to do is die. Just as quickly as possible, you want it to end your life. So quite often you would get like those hackers running up to you um, so that you would shoot them. Um, and they'd just be hatchlings, they wouldn't have any other gear and the only reason they want to do that is because then having stuffed everything from this mark room into their prison wallet they could trade it they could go to the market and they could sell it and they could make a profit and then immediately go straight back in for another raid and they could do this really really quickly and though you couldn't carry that much stuff in your prison wallet, in your gamma or your cap or whatever, it didn't matter because you could do it so quickly and you could go to high value rooms. You didn't need gear, you didn't need any of that. So that's what people used to do. Um, I guess the difference now is because of phone and raid. So people do still rush mark rooms, but they tend to do one or more and they tend to do more of a loot circuit because they're spending more time in the raid. And what they're trying to do is fill their bags. Like they're, they're going in with full kit and they're actually like filling their backpack, filling their uh, vest or assault vest, their carrier, whatever it may be, with as much gear as they can carry. And that means that they spend more time in a raid. Because the thing is, they can't just go straight to trade anymore. They must extract. And because they must extract, it's worth their while to fill the bag. And because they have to fill the bag, that means that we get hackers who are spending much more time in raid than they did previously. So I'm not sure that um, there are actually more hackers. There may even be less hackers. It's really hard to tell, but they're definitely going to spend more time in raid because they have to. They have to extract with that gear before they can trade it and before they can get to real money trading, they need to have virtual items. So I think that's the difference between uh, what has happened with Founder Raid and how that's affected real money traders and hackers essentially.